Hey guys, I'll be talking about problem C of code forces round 696 div 2. Uh, this was a bad contest for me because I spent a lot of time on problem B and then with bad implementation I was getting time limit exceeded on problem C. So but although I got the approach but because of bad implementation I was having time limit exceeded so now let's talk about problem C after getting it accepted so the problem says that you have an array of 2n positive integers and you realize that you don't want this array so now we have to uh, destruct or destroy this array by choosing two elements and we remove those two elements and then we keep following this operation n times so and there are some rules like we select two elements of the array with some x some equal to x and then we remove them from a and replace x with the maximum of those two numbers i'll explain what this means with uh, an example so I'm taking this last sample test case so what is happening is first of all I have sorted this array in increasing order now what we have to do we have to choose two elements and uh, then let me simulate the process so the example takes these two elements as the first two elements so their sum is 21 and the elements are 14 and 7 then for the next uh, operation this sum will be the maximum of these two elements so now the sum is 14 so now I have to look for two elements which uh, sum together to 14 so then I look for this unused element which is 11 and uh, then I start looking forward and then I find 3 so now 11 and 3 are, are grouped together and they sum to 14 in the next step the sum is equal to the maximum of these two chosen elements so which is 11 then I again look forward then I uh, start from 6 look forward I find 5 and uh, these two elements sum together to 11 so I choose these two elements then I replace the sum with maximum of these two then I find 4 and then I look forward and then I find 2 so I choose 4 and 2 now the sum is the maximum of these two which is 4 and then I look forward of uh, the in the unused element so 3 and 1 are unused and they both together sum up to 4 so now my process ends here and I have removed all the elements and this is the sequence in which elements are removed first 14 7 then 11 3 and then 6 5 and so on so now I'll uh, show you some observations uh, from this sample case so first thing to observe is that if we have a maximum element then we should always choose the maximum element and then look uh, to the left of it such that we get to this sum like here let's say I had I want to find a sum of 14 so first let's just choose 11 and then look forward like what should I add to 11 so that I get 14 
Now the question is why should we choose the maximum element? Let's see what happens if I do not choose the maximum element. So let's take this example. 1, 3, 4, 5. So, okay. Now let's make this table again of sum and elements. So let's say this time I do not choose maximum element that is I do not choose 5 first rather I choose 4 first and let's say I choose 4 and 1 so these together sum to 5 and then I get 4 and 1 now at the next step I get 4 as the sum so I need to look for two elements which together sum to 4. Now the thing is, since I have left out this element, the maximum element, and now I'm having 4. So, I can never satisfy this condition because now my sum that I look for is lesser than the element that I have left. So now I can never find uh, to, uh, such a sequence of operation so that I uh, remove all the elements from the array because now I cannot I can never cover up this five. So you can see that this sum is always decreasing. So if I leave out a greater value then I can never cover it up. So it's always beneficial to choose the greatest value that we have and then uh, find its corresponding element with which it can sum to the required number. Like here, I needed 14. So I first pick 11 and then I find the next number uh, with which I can sum up to 14. So then I find 3. So this was the main idea behind it. And uh, you can now think about implementing it. What I did was I maintained a multi set uh, in which I had all these numbers. Also, here, since the constraints are like n is up till 1000, n is less than equal to 1000. So we can have n squared uh, up till n squared or n squared lo login solution. So my solution was n squared login uh, because I was using a multi set. I'll show you my solution. And uh, so what we have to do first, we have to realize that always choose the maximum element. So once I have sorted this array, the maximum element is at the end. Then I have the first two elements, the first pair of two elements that we have to brute force over it. Like first what I have to do is I choose 14 with one and then figure out uh, this uh, these operations then I choose 14 with 2 and again figure out whether it is possible to make uh, these sequence of operations then I make then I choose 3 and 14 then I figure out whether it is possible to get these operations then I choose 4 and 14 and so on then I choose 7 and 14 and at 7 and 14 I find the right sequence of operations. So we have to choose the first two elements. And after that, I have to apply this. Then I have to implement this only. So choosing the first two elements is easy. I fix the second element to the greatest element. And then I move over uh, these elements one by one and then see if it is possible 
to get the sequence if it is not possible with all of these elements then this there is no answer so we have to print no so i'll show you my code here so we are taking the input n then i'm multiplying it with 2 because there are two two n elements then i'm clearing this set because there are multiple test cases so for each test case i need to get a fresh multi set uh, so this was the multi set here and then i input the array also i insert the elements into the multi set and then i sort the array and this is the vector which can which contains the sequence of op operation this is a global vector for therefore for each test case i'm clearing it then i move as i told i fix the last element and then i move over the element from one till the second last element and then i choose these two elements as the first operation of the sequence and then i create a copy of the multi set and then i remove these two chosen elements like uh, here if i choose 14 and 7 so i remove 4 7 and 14 from the multi set and then i proceed so then this solve function is finding the answer if there is answer then it also prints the answer and we return so after all these operation if there is no answer i print no so the solve function what it does is i as i told you we have to take uh, we already got the sum as this maximum element like 14 was the maximum element so i got this sum as 14 then I choose the maximum element which is at the end of the multi set and then I remove that maximum element like here I remove 11 and and then I find the other element which satisfy the condition if the other element does not exist then I break out of it and if it exists then I also remove that element like I removed 11 and then I remove 3 and uh, I push back the sequence so I push 11 and 3 into the answer and then since I have multiplied n with 2 here then I am checking if I have got uh, a sequence of n operations so if this is the case then I print yes then I print the sum of the this first two elements of the sequence which is 14 and 7 so I print their sum and then I print the sequence of operations so then I return true and if there does not exist a solution I return false so if there exist a solution I I have already printed it and then I return from this function. So this was it. If you have any feedback, you can give it in the comments below. And uh, if you have any queries, you can uh, put it in the comments section below. All right, guys, bye.